happy birthday to those who only get to celebrate every four years. I'm Lizette Mosqueda. And I'm Sarah Asmussen. Today on February 29th installment of DP News. High school essay contest. National Honor Society. And more. DP News starts now. Starting tomorrow, there will be a daily poll every day before DP News. Congratulations to the Varsity Mock Trial Team for winning their county competition this past weekend. Now they're off to Sacramento next month for the state competition. Let's throw it over to Ashley to congratulate our county champions. Hey guys, I'm here with Susanna and Alex from the Mock Trial Team. So can you guys tell me more about what happened last weekend at um, semifinals? Yeah, so we had a really great um, two weekends of competition. Last weekend was the semifinals, where we had two rounds of competition. The second round being the finals, where we decide where it was decided that we would go to state, and we had a really good two rounds. They were um, we went again really against really good teams. One of them being the JV team. Nice. And how was that? Well, it was very exciting to go against our own uh, our own team, but it was very hard competition. Yeah. You know, JV worked really hard, same as varsity, and it was a stiff competition. So, how are you guys preparing for finals? Um, we're gonna continue practicing, and um, Sacramento is two weeks away, so we're getting all ready, and we're really excited. Yeah. And what are you guys expecting to come out of the team? Uh, just a lot of fun and excitement from both sides, both prosecution and defense. We both work really hard, but we are also kind of isolated sometimes. Mm -hmm. So hopefully going through, we can make some more fun bonds. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, guys. That's all I have for you today. Now back to Sarah and Lizette. Thanks, Ashley. And congratulations again to the mock trial team. Good luck at the state competition. If you or a loved one has a cancer story to share, the Dear Cancer It's Me High School Essay Contest is accepting in submissions until March 18, 2016 at midnight. Students should write a 500 to 2,000 word essay about a cancer related experience. An award ceremony for the contest will take place on Sunday, May 15, 2016 with a first place prize of $750, a second place prize of $500, and a third place prize of $250. Previous entrants may reapply, but submissions must be new and original. All entries should be submitted to DearCancerIt'sMe at gmail.com. For more information, go to www.cancersupportvvsb.org or contact Program Director Sheila Hammer at 805-379-4777, extension 236. Tomorrow, Tuesday, March 1st, is the last day for NHS and CSF qualifiers to complete the steps for their membership. Dues can be paid online via the DPHS web store or with cash last check at the business office. Forms should be turned in outside Mrs. Stone's office by 3.30 p.m. tomorrow. Friday, March 4th, Leadership Air Bands in the Greek at lunch. Be there. Art supplies for the Freshman Council of National Art Honor Society, Art for All, and Drive are still being collected and can be dropped off at the library or in room A4. All of the art supplies will be donated to local schools who may not have the privilege in receiving such materials. Seniors, if you and your friends have been making memories this year and want pictures of them in the Senior Slideshow, download the Eversnap app and join the album DPHS Seniors to upload all the memorable moments you've had so far this year. Do you want to be featured in this year's yearbook? Yes. You and a friend or a group of friends have the chance to do so by recreating an old picture. Bring your photos to T3 or send them to yearbook16 at dpnews.org. The deadline is this Tuesday, March 1st at 3 p.m. That's tomorrow, DP. Now here I am with the weather report. Today's temperatures will be 76 degrees and tomorrow's temperatures will also be 76 degrees. The surf will be 4 to 6 feet with 6 feet being the highest point at 3 p.m. The internet has officially been broken. Leonardo DiCaprio finally won his first Oscar. That's all the campus news we have for you today, DP. Now throwing it over to Jeffrey in Dallas with your sports report.
Hello, DP. I'm Jeffrey Chow. And I'm Dallas Flanner here with your sports report. Our winter sports came to a conclusion this weekend with my best friend, Junior Reinfeld L, headed o heading over to Ontario for the CIF Southern Section Masters State Qualifying Meet. He wrestled hard, however, didn't make it to the second day of Masters Tournament. Great job, my friend, and best of luck next season. I'll see you in college. Our very own girls softball team starts out ranked third place in CIF. Best of luck to the best of luck this season, girls. Baseball started off their season on Saturday against Quartz Hill. They played hard and were beat with the final score of eight to nine at Quartz Hill. Gio Macias hit three hits, including a double, and Quinn Peacock and Coulter Nisbet had two hits apiece. Well, that's all for your sports report. Get ready for spring sports, DP. Now over to Anne with your current event. <laughs> Last week on our show, 22% of you voted for Donald Trump to be our next president. <laughs> Recently, Trump was endorsed by David Duke, former Ku Klux Klan Grand Wizard, for his presidential campaign, though Trump decided not to accept Duke's endorsement. In related news, the city of Anaheim, California, dealt with 30 counter-protesters and six members of the Ku Klux Klan as the KKK conducted a planned protest at Pearson Park. Chris Barker, who identified himself as the Imperial Wizard of the Loyal White Knights of the Ku Klux Klan, said that his members were holding a peaceful anti-immigration demonstration and acted in self-defense. Consequently, five people were injured and 13 were arrested. Police Chief Raul Quezada said, even if the vast majority of our community disagrees with a particular group who visits our city, we cannot stop them from lawfully gathering to express their opinions. That wraps us up for today, DP. I'm Ann Bailey, signing out.